to date, we've completed about 3,000 linear feet of tunneling and mining. So uh, we are gonna have the hole through today at one of our reception shafts, which is a huge milestone for this project. And uh, right after that, we're gonna be working on installing the uh, pipe that carries the water and delivers the water within these tunnels. Paris Ferry Pipeline uh, starts at our mills water treatment plant and extends uh, some, some six, seven miles long and terminates south of this location. And it will provide uh, through three service connections, water to Eastern and Western Municipal Water District. The initial portion of the job was planned over a decade ago and the northern part and the southern part of this project, the pipeline portions, were completed back in 2010. However, this section, which would cross I-215, had to be postponed due to the geological and groundwater conditions. We needed to go back to the drawing board and formulate the proper design package for us to complete this section of the project. The project is actually located near the Marsh Field Air Museum and the IC-15 freeway. So we overcame this by uh, communicating, proactively communicating and partnering with these agencies and stakeholders to obtain permits so that we can work 24-7 to tun tunnel underneath the I-215 and railways. And we're just managing the work sites right around the museums to make sure there's uh, good housekeeping, being good neighbors and then just continuing to coordinate with these community leaders and representatives. I'd really like to you know, thank my team because they were a major part of the success by working long days, hours, nights, shifts, and even weekends so that we can meet project deadlines. As I'm concluding my service at Metropolitan Water District and passing on the torch to the next generation, it's nice to see enthusiastic folks like, like we have, these young folks working on projects like this, because we're gonna have a lot more of these projects in the future.